Hey guys, I'm Lily and this is Virginia. And I'm Sloane and this is Lacey. Welcome back to another day by day vlog. <laughs> and follow our Instagram so we'll be right here. Good morning guys, welcome to today. Today we might be buying a horse, you guys. We might be buying a horse. I get so nervous at the thought of it because I'm afraid of making the wrong decision because buying a horse is such a huge thing. It's a huge thing, you guys. It's a huge thing. We might be buying you a horse. I know. But Are you nervous? I get the strange feeling like it's a my barn and it's like my horse for trying, but I know it's like not. You're gonna go with your gut horse. feeling? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, that's what happened when I got with Sabrina. Sabrina was a gut feeling for me too. I knew right away like, in my heart. It felt like when the owners were not there, it felt like our barn. Yeah, and it was our horse, right? Yeah. yeah, I don't know if you guys remember what happened when we got Sabrina, but we walked in and she was kind of hiding and I saw her and I was like, oh, I go. love her. And that's what happened to me with Sam too. The minute I saw him, I walked in and I saw him and I was like, oh, I love that guy. It's just weird. We're gonna rely a lot on our gut feeling and what our instructor says as well because we're gonna be taking video and sending her video and we're gonna get her to weigh in as well okay you guys um we reviewed all the suggestions for what to call you guys in our videos and we've come up with three or four actually um and names for you guys to vote on so in the in the comments sam below squad. i would love sam. the name sam squad in the comments I want J squad okay let me tell them what the options are the options are in the comments below number one day fam Number two, daydreamers. And number three, day by dayers. And number four, day squad. So those are them. I vote the um, day fam because I came up with it, I think. Um, and I vote the day, day of the squad. You can only vote one. Okay, then the first one. Day fam, what do you vote, so? Day squad. Day squad, what do you vote, Sam? Sam squad. Love Sam squad. Um, I kind of like day fam myself. But anyway, we want to hear what you guys think. We're going to pick the winner and we're going to start using it in the in a couple of videos. But we want to know what you guys think. So comment below and tell us what your vote is. Everybody want to sing, sing, sing. This kind of song makes you belong to something greater, something that makes you want to sing. And it gets you in a dancing pool, and moving gets so easy, feeling easy to me, and it makes you kick it. So, um, the reason for the trip out this way is because Sam has a doctor's appointment, a special appointment, um, far from our home. So, well, we are at the mall while well, he goes to his appointment. And we're gonna have something to eat and do a little bit of shopping while we wait for him. Then we're gonna move on to go seeing the horse. Obviously, our girls are country girls, not city girls. And again and again and again and again and again and again, I play it on. It's a black horse. It's a dark horse. It's a sign. I have that black horse. We're at Pottery Barn and they have an equestrian doll. Oh, you love Sophie. And it gets you in a dancing floor. We are in our favorite unicorn bookstore, poop unicorn poop slime, an emoji poop. Look, this is the oh. unicorn poop. Yeah, it's rainbow barf unicorn poop. That is fabulous. And it makes you kicking up what's 
Gabby was riding around on this little toy and she found Schleich and she hopped off the toy so fast. Bye bye. Sophie wants this so bad. Maybe for Easter. It's the Schleich Hospital, right? Right, you guys. We are almost about to see our very first horse. It is a seven year old? It is a nine year old thoroughbred. I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. Meters, turn left onto <laughs> okay. I know a lot of people don't think a thoroughbred would a good, be a good a fit for Gabby, but this horse um, was given to a young girl when she was 11 years old. Um, he's nine years old. He's 16 hands high, and she's been riding him for about four years. And we're gonna see if he's a good fit for Gabby. It's a gelding. He wears shoes. I don't know what else you guys want to know. Well, anyway, let's get on with what the video and we're going to show you what he looks like. We're also going to see another horse after this and I don't know if we're going to be able to fit it on the video because it's going to take too much time. So we'll probably divide this trip into two videos and who knows, we might have already picked one and have a horse by the time you guys see both videos. Before we get there, I just wanted to tell you guys that I'm able to update on Instagram all the information, pictures of the horses, things that we're doing while we're out doing them. So if you guys want to be, you want to be a part of all the action as it's happening, make sure that you um, follow us on Instagram because that's where I update most of our information. Like two magnets, we are drawn to each other. You just know how to push all my buttons. Moved out of town and I erased your number. But still I find myself calling in the middle of the night. And there is nothing I can do. I am madly drawn to you. I know you feel the
protein diet he's so calm and you open his stall he just stays there he has really good manners he's really fun he's nine years old and he's so fun and huh? he never refuses he raced when he was three but not for very long because he didn't like it um, he's not super forward did you find him super forward I uh, know he was really lazy so when he was stopping after the jump but other than that, I was trying to like get him to trot, to whoa and trot, and I literally went like this, and he went, okay, let's walk. Yeah, like he is more responsive than Sabrina. How was he for legs? <coughs> Sitting trot. Oh I mean, my like gosh, how his eyes were. Burning. Did you need a lot of leg? Uh, kind of. But when you ask him to canter, then he is good. He just. Canter. He kept breaking to a stop though, even in canter, did he? Uh, only if, only if I pull like this hard on the reins. Okay, sorry. Yeah, and he what? was really yeah, sensitive. Yeah. Like yeah. Gabby, sensitive with the Gabby, uh, like Gabby would pat him and say, "Good, good boy." And our horse would just be like, "Okay, whatever." But he literally turned into her hand, like not his head, but. Like it was like turned he was, neck. yeah. He was like you know if you did this and then you like, turned like he, this. Yeah, like he was really sensitive. Like he loved whenever she said good boy. Like he's really affectionate. When we went there, he was like grabbing my coat and I don't know. He I, loves I really like him. Zippers. <laughs> he's really yeah. He's nine, but he's really playful. Like Sabrina's not really playful, but he was really playful and he was a fun horse, wasn't he? I don't know. I don't know. I have to talk about it with our coach. But anyway, that is horse number one. And uh, tomorrow you're going to see horse number two. And we're going to ask you guys what you think um, would suit us better. Vote it's number Emmy. one. Gabby's in love. Gabby's in love. And I want him. Yeah. So anyway, we're going to end today's vlog because no, it's going to be super long. Um, but we'll see you guys tomorrow. I want to show them something. What? This looks like the work that I'm doing. Oh my gosh. This is hanging up in the bathroom at the rest stop. But doesn't it look like our path? Bye! Bye. And don't forget to make sure to hit that subscribe button down below.